Outputting ArtNet as well as streaming ACN is one of the most important things to know as an operator. In this video, we will be looking at how to output streaming ACN as well as ArtNet from Grand MA3. There are some prerequisites before you can start controlling fixtures from MA. That is, you have to have a Grand MA3 piece of hardware that will enable parameters in a session. In this case, I have a Grand MA3 on PC node. The equipment connected today is the computer, which is acting as the lighting console, the MA on PC node, as well as a Proplex node right behind me. The Proplex node is controlling a Martin Mac Aura XIP, which is sitting right on top of it. This is currently version 2.2.5.0, but it's pretty similar on all the other versions of MA3. And anyways, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start off by patching in a fixture patch a fixture we go into the cogwheel patch and it goes ahead and opens a library of all the fixtures within the MA database for this case the Mac Aura XIP is not listed inside of this database that's totally okay all I had to do was download a fixture profile from gdtf.com and put it on my thumb drive and we can see it here currently I have this in ludicrous mode on address one Quantity looks right, fixture ID looks right, as well as the patching information. Let's go ahead and click please. And here we have it. We can exit out of this by clicking the X on the top right, save and exit. Currently, there is no equipment connected to our on PC session. That means that we have no parameters available to us. We can check this by going to the system info page and we can see that we have no available parameters. To start a session, we can click the network port on the bottom right, and we can see our information listed right here. Currently, we're on the loopback IP range of 127, and this is going to serve us no good. This is because that address range is typically reserved for sending ArtNet and streaming ACN information back to the computer. Let's say if you have capture open or any kind of visualizer open and you wanna relay that information back through the computer, that's what you would use it for. For this case, we need to connect to our on PC node. Let's go ahead and click our MANET interface. And we wanna select this one right here. The interfaces will be different for you. Go ahead and select the correct interface that you have your on PC hardware connected to. In this case, it was able to find the on PC node and let's go ahead and start our session. In this case, it automatically connected our node to the session. We can tell because it has a green bar as well as our computer. But I would like to show you how to connect it if it does not automatically connect. If your screen looks like this, where your computer has the green bar but your on PC node does not, go ahead and select the node and invite it to the session. Great. Now, if we exit out of this, we can see that we have 4,096 parameters available to us, of which the Macara XIP is currently using 113 parameters. That's because I have it in the ludicrous mode. Let's go ahead and output streaming ACN from this. We can get to the streaming ACN page by clicking the cogwheel, going to DMX protocols, and we can see that we are currently on the ArtNet tab. We wanna to go to streaming ACN, so let's click that. Okay, we can see that we have our interfaces tab and we want to select the interface that our node is currently connected to. Now, this is the same port that we have our MANET session on, but you may have noticed that the IP address is not 192.168.1. whatever. It is actually 10.0.0.1. That's because the standard of streaming ACN is on the IP address range of 10. For those of you who got a little confused by that, that's just some settings that I have configured inside of the computer. If you would like to change those settings, here's how you can do it. We can go ahead and go to our control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings, 
and we can see all of our network adapters currently on this computer. To change the IP address, we can go ahead and click on our interface, properties, and we can double click on the TCP slash IPv4. This window will pop up and if you're only using one IP address, this is all you need. However, since we're using two, that being the on PC node, as well as our streaming ACN node, we have two different IP address ranges that we need to configure. To do this, we go down to the advanced and we can see our IP addresses right here. The 192.168 for our on PC session and the 10.0.0.1 for our streaming ACN. Even though it's already defaulted to the correct interface, I'm gonna go ahead and reselect it just for the sake of the video. Now we want to enable the output, enable the input, and make sure that send streaming ACN if idle master is enabled. If this is not enabled, you will not be able to output any kind of streaming ACN information. If we look down here, we can see one of our outputs. Currently, it is red because it is not enabled. To enable it, we just right click on the enabled screen. Now, there's a little bit of information here. There's the local universe, the amount, and then the streaming ACN universe. The local universe is the universe that your MA patch is on. The streaming ACN universe is the starting universe of your streaming ACN output. Now, because I have a 16 port node, I'm not using all the ports, but let's go ahead and send 16 universes of streaming ACN data to the node. We can change this by going to our amount and typing in 16. I understand that the only thing connected to the node is port one. This is just to show you that you can send multiple universes through streaming ACN. We can even verify that our fixture is connected by controlling it. We can go to fixture one and we can see it works. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and look at outputting ArtNet. This is gonna be somewhat of the same steps that we use to output streaming ACN. It's just that now we're gonna use the ArtNet tab. The standard for ArtNet on the IP address range is two. Our computer is still set for 10 for streaming ACN, so let's go ahead and change that. Again, we can go to the control panel, Network and internet, network and sharing center, change adapter settings, clicking on our correct interface, properties, IPv4, and advanced. Let's go ahead and change our 10.0.0.1 to be 2.0.0.1. Now we can still see that we are still in a session with our on PC node. And let's go ahead and go to the ArtNet tab on the DMX protocols page. Let's go ahead and reselect our interface even though it already detected it. Enable the output, enable the input, and make sure send ArtNet if idle mastered is selected. Let's go ahead to our ArtNet information and let's enable it. Cool. You can also see that the Martin fixture moved and let's go ahead and send the 16 universes just to make sure that we can send all of the universes to the node. Great, now you can see that the lights are flashing, which means that we are sending information to the node. Again, we can go ahead and select it and we can use the dimmer and it works perfectly fine. This video is a viewer suggested video. If you have any other video ideas or anything else you would like to see from me in mind, feel free to drop it in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and click the thumbs up. If you dislike the video, then go ahead and hit that button too. Please consider subscribing and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one.